Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Finding that deviant was far from easy. You showed great skill in your investigation. But you knew deviants could be unstable. You should have been more cautious. I thought I could make it talk. It was a judgment error. Never mind. I'm sure you'll be more careful in the future. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I don't have enough data to decide that yet. I'll learn more about him and try to adapt my behavior accordingly. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. <laughs> you might be in shock. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks.
It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay, huh? okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Ugh. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice day, Captain. Listen, I know you don't like me, but we're going to have to work together. We'll both have to make an effort. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. 
I call him Sumo. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. Hey, you take a look at these samples yet? Lab report says they cut it with something. Maybe they're trying out a new form of. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Hundred and forty three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX four hundred is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. You shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? I suggest you sort out your personal issues and let me work with someone more competent. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. 